Today, we are back in the richest square mile of Africa. On the borders of Santon City, this is Waverley. We are currently within walking distance of Mulrose Arch, and I'm standing in front of a 6.49 million rand home that boasts four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and entertainment spaces that are to die for. This home can easily be split into a category that checks all the boxes, whether you're an entertainer or somebody looking for a peaceful, tranquil suburb that is very, very close to the business hub of Gauteng. This home is for you. It has been newly renovated and really is a sight to see. So come with me as we tour this fantastic family home behind me. My name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. And here we are finally inside and now we get to explore. In front of me, I'm sure you viewers can see a lot. So let me run through a couple of the stuff we can look at. Beautiful feature staircase here, low railing piece of wood that works perfectly for somewhere to put your drinks down. On my right hand side, that's your guest bathroom. So that's your half bathroom, easily situated so none of your guests need to walk into any of the rooms. So go to the toilet right here by the front door includes a single vanity and a counter storage as well as toilets. And then on my left hand side is where we're gonna start and that is the kitchen. But I'd be remiss to leave here without mentioning the stunning skylight that sits above this staircase, bringing in so much natural light and making this room feel a lot more airy and definitely far more welcoming. But talking about welcoming, nothing says it more than a well thought out and spacious kitchen. And here we are finally in the kitchen and this kitchen does a lot with light that I really like. So let's talk about the top level first. We've got a kind of bulkhead ceilings with an opening for windows both on the left and the right. So you've got light flooding into this kitchen regardless of the time of day. If we're talking about nighttime, well then we've got this really cool, clean, contemporary chandelier hanging over this double level bar counter. Half of it does act as a bar counter, it's raised slightly higher and then the lower bit works perfectly for cooking. But if we're talking about cooking well, you've got the chef sink with a beautiful faucet, five top gas burner, DeFi, including an AEG extractor fan, under counter storage, and then cupboard space above counter. And then to continue the storage, you've got extended cupboard space as well as counter space over here. Now this would fit a bar, or alternatively, if you are big into entertaining, you can lay out some dishes here and filter your guests through to the dining area. What I like is this over here. Now this is where you display your crystalware, either your wine glasses or your champagne flues. So if you're big into your wine or your champagne, this wall has got you covered. And then if you're big into security, well, this home has got you covered. It comes pre-installed with 16 cameras. You've got this TV here. You can take a look everywhere around your house, including the streets and the back of your home. However, if you're big into cooking, it's perfectly situated for you to watch your favorite TV show while whipping up your favorite dish. Over here, you'll see some more of the kitchen continues, both DeFi appliances built into the wall with some more storage space, but some really cool display cabinetry. And you can see just behind that, the kitchen continues with two more full-size sinks and a cupboard space for three appliances, as well as a fridge, and then even more cupboard space for your dry goods. But if dry goods is your concern, just behind the sliding door, you've got a pantry. And then over here, behind this door, you've got some more utility. You see, that is currently set up as an office space. And I like that because I think my office should also be close to where I can find my snacks. It's quite a spacious area with a window where you can sit down and make sure you check off all of your to-do list before coming in here, whipping up your favorite coffee and moving off into the entertainment areas. But sitting adjacent to this kitchen is the dining room and we're headed there right now. 
Very close to your kitchen is your dining area. We've got another very cool chandelier setting the tone for this place. But what I think I like the most about this dining room area is it's easy access to your outside area. So again, if you don't want to eat inside, we are South Africans and we love a good bri or to sit outside and enjoy a meal. You've got a sliding glass door as well as windows that overlook your beautiful wood patios. But to talk about this room itself, it's spacious, it's wide, it can easily fit in a dining room table larger than this, but this eight-seater fits here very comfortably. It leads off into your bar and your living area as well as this home's crowning feature I think and that is your cinema room come follow me we've seen the kitchen we've spoken about the dining room area and the one thing that caps off a good meal is a good movie and what better place to watch one than this your very own built-in cinema room you've got your projector screen mounted against the wall with a full surround sound system and AV system projector mounting on the wall with two speakers behind you and then a full-on complement of armchairs that recline with cup holders we've checked all the boxes for the best movie time of your life also what I do like is they've got doors here that are exceptionally solid and block out a lot of the natural light so you can enjoy that dark cinema experience moving forward though we've got a games room and a living room to still talk about so let's check that out and here we are within the living room area so there's a couple of really cool features i can talk about straight off the bat We've got a corner set of sliding stackable glass doors that open immediately out onto your pool area. We've got that welcoming built-in shared gas fireplace that is a pass-through so you can look straight into your gaming area. And then we've got incredible lighting elements, both the chandelier as well as the bulkhead ceiling running all the way around this entertainment area. It is spacious, it is very well utilized and it comes with its very own bar area as well as air conditioning that you can see over my right shoulder. We've got the prep sink, we've got two sets of shelving, some LED lighting recessed, plug points, as well as a display cabinet for your favorite bottle. And then there's some things about this home that you don't see that I think are worth mentioning. The plugs on the wall are all part of a smart home system that connect to your phone so you can easily switch lights on and off without leaving the comfort of the room you're currently in. It comes with a 5,000 liter backup water supply as well as a 5 kVA inverter system so that you're never going to need to switch these lights off when you don't need to. But leaving behind this incredible area, as hard as it is, I think it's only time we talk about the outdoors because this home's outdoors really are something special. Moving outside, you really see where the spirit of this home or the personality of this home starts shining. You've got this outdoor area that's made for either whiling away your days during the summertime, sitting back, relaxing, or lighting up a nice bonfire, putting the barai on, and enjoying those winter nights outside. And if you are gonna do that, personally, I think there's nothing better in the winter than jumping into a warm, welcoming jacuzzi. And then for the summer days, you've got this right here, a sparkling blue pool for you to dive into and really just take in the garden of this amazing home. I think these are gardens you only really see in Houghton, Waverley, Mulrose Arch, these old homes that have really had the trees be around for so long that they do reach staggering heights and it really gives this home so much personality. I mentioned at the intro of this video that this home is also built for entertainers and you never see it more so than right now. In the outdoor patio as well as the games room you've got built-in speaker system as well as built-in lighting and that is laser lighting one over there and over here so if you're big into having your very own private party this home easily is for you and then to round off the patio i'd like to talk about something that i quite enjoy and it's an architectural feature i stand at six foot and the ceiling is just above me so it gives this whole patio Quite a nice alco feel. It's very protected from the elements because of the low ceiling, but it makes it feel, and I can't really explain it, I think you need to see it, very comforting, very welcoming, and very, very VIP. I also like that you've got a skylight right above you letting in that natural light. And then on my right-hand side, a prep area. If you do wanna have a bit of a party out here, or at least have a bit of a meal out here, you've got a place to lay out all the dishes. But through this set of sliding stackable glass doors lays our game room. 
and it is perfectly situated to cater to both your patio as well as your cinema room quite comfortably fits this pool table but has some really cool features down lighting bulkhead ceiling and in that ceiling is recessed your curtain so they come out looking very sleek off to my left is that gas fireplace we spoke about but there's still more space in this room for you to make it your own and bring your own flair to the room but that leaves us with two rooms left downstairs your master suite as well as a second bedroom but we're going to leave those for last so come with me as we take a journey up that beautiful wood staircase and take a look at what the two bedrooms upstairs as well as the pajama lounge have in store for us And here we are upstairs in quite a unique pajama lounge. Now what I like about this is this pajama lounge has a low railing, looks down onto your living areas, but looks directly through the skylight I mentioned sits above your staircase. And I think that is such a cool architectural feature. You can see the owner knew what he was doing when he was renovating the home. Now, this is a very spacious pajama lounge. This L-shaped couch fits in quite comfortably as well as a table in the corner and then there's a sliding glass door that leads out onto a private patio looking down onto your garden area and that stunning pool. Behind me, you've got a bathroom that has a freestanding bathtub, huge walk-in shower and single vanity. I love the tiling and the color and how that complements the home. Just to the left of that, you've got your toilet and it is a private toilet with its very own door. You've also got two bedrooms located up here and we're gonna go take a look at them first. The first bedroom we walk in is spacious. We've swapped the dark wood floors for a lighter wood, making it feel a lot more open and airy. You've got a corner set of windows that open up, looking down onto that stunning green garden. And the room is spacious enough to very, very comfortably fit a king bed, as well as two side tables. You've got a built-in closet, as well as space for a desk, if you'd like to get some work done in this room. The second bedroom upstairs is easily far, far more unique. Again, quite spacious, can easily fit in a king bed with two side tables. This time, you do see a glass set of shelving and then a door that leads into your very own private walk-in closet. I love the cupboard space and how unique homes like this are. However, my favorite feature of this room has to be that corner set of windows not because it just looks down onto the garden, but because there is a door there that lets you out onto the roof. You can easily put a patio set up, relax and enjoy views that few others will get to see. And now with the upstairs all but done, we're gonna be heading down this passageway for the last two bedrooms. Now, this wing of the house is very, very interesting. And for the reason that there's obviously a door behind me, but there's another door that you saw I just walked through. You can easily turn this room into an office and then have this wing completely sealed off from the rest of the house and have this be your very own private wing. And I love that. I love the fact that everything is separated. You can see a linen cupboard behind me and another cupboard here, which is those walk-in closets. All your cupboard space is hidden away cleanly behind this door. Set of windows in front of me that slide open as well as pivot open letting you enjoy some fresh air but really do showcase the green grounds that this home is so famous for and this bedroom in and of itself is quite spacious very comfortable and very well lit and now it's time to take a quick look at the bathroom that services this room and then we're taking a look at the master suite and if you are waiting for it trust me it's worth it The bathroom is incredibly well equipped. I love the dark tiles, freestanding bathtub with some very posh faucets, single vanity, toilet tucked away neatly in the corner, and then a massive walk-in shower that lies directly next to your very own vivarium. So it's a private area. You see the beautiful trees there, and it must be an incredible showering experience. However, it is now time to take a look at the master suite. Let's go. 
And here we are, the master suite. And if space was a concern, well, worry no more. You've got a set of stairs that lead down into the, the main chunk of it where your bed lies. This king extra length fits very comfortably with the two side tables as well as a foot end couch. You've got a sliding glass door that leads off to your very own patio in your garden. Beautiful fireplace as well as air conditioning. And then I love the bulkhead ceiling. You can see with the blue LED lights there, you can change them to whatever color suits your mood for the day. And then you've got a mounting point for a floating TV, keeping all the cables out of sight and everything here very, very neat. I love the space of the room. I love that the room is heated or the flooring is heated, should I say. And you can really bring your own flair here, much like the games room, put the bed in any formation that you like. But for me, the cherry on top of this room has to be your master bathroom. Come with me and take a look at what a master bathroom right here in Waverley has in store. And here we are in the master suite and it checks all the boxes for me. We've got not one, but two skylights. Your walk-in closet is located right here in the master bathroom suite over there with exposed railings as well as cupboard space and spots to put your shoes so you can showcase your favorite clothing collection. It has heated towel racks. It is a private toilet just here off to the right with a window as well as your very own heater. But then this is such a spacious area, not one, but two vanities, both with their very own under counter storage and both with their very own illuminating mirror. I love it. You can either have them on or off by the touch of a button and what an eye catching thing. Then my favorite has to be this right over here. Your free standing pebble bathtub framed in a corner window set. You can sit there, relax, and if you look up, you're looking straight up through one of the skylights. It must be an incredible experience, but if bathing isn't for you, you've got this here. A ginormous shower with not one, but two shower heads, including its very own lighting. Everything we've seen in this house really does tick a box for somebody. So if you'd like to be this home's next owner, don't wait, follow me, and let's talk about how you can do that. And here we are downstairs, and now it's time to talk about how you can become the next owner of this incredible home. But first, let's recap what we've seen so far. This home is on the market for 6,499,000 Rand, boasts four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and some incredibly clean living areas, beautifully well-equipped entertainment spaces, lush green gardens, beautiful pool areas, as well as my favorite, that jacuzzi down there. And let's not forget about the bedrooms, the epitome of opulence. So if you'd like to purchase this home, what I'd like you to do is contact Karen Merber. All of her details are in the link in the description of this video and make sure you book an appointment as soon as possible. Remember, you can find your new home on privateproperty.co.za and please like, share and subscribe to us on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram so that you don't miss out on us touring some of the most exquisite out of this world or just plain interesting homes all across South Africa. But that does bring us to the end of the show. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time every Friday. From myself, Chad Riveros, the team at the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Goodbye.